hello in this video i'll teach you how to find common elements in three sorted array the fact that this is sorted we can use this for our advantage to make a program more efficient let's say we have three arrays which are sorted with these values our required output is the common element among all these three arrays so if you can see you can see 20 is common in all these three so our first output will be 20 then we can see 80 is also common in all of these three array so this is our required output so since it is given that it is a sorted array we are going to use that fact and come up with the efficient solution so let's discuss the logic so for this i'm going to use three integers i j and k i will be for a1 j will be for the second array k will be for the third array so i'll play use i for array 1 j for array 2 and k for array 3 so i j and k will initially point to the index number 0 of respective arrays so the first step will be i will check if the value present at i is equal to value present at j and that is equal to the value present at k if all these three are equal then that element is a common element so i will print any of these I'll print any of these and then I'll move i to the next location, j to the next location and k to the next location. So for that I'll do i++, plus plus, j++ plus plus, and k++. Plus plus. So this is the first step. What will be the second step? What if the value present at i, j and k are not equal? And what will be our next step? We have to either move i to the next location or j to the next location or k to the next location or should we move all i, j and k to the next location. So here comes the fact that this is sorted. We are going to use that for our advantage. So you can see that if you see array 1 and array 2, this value 1 is smaller than the value 6. If I move j to the next location, will I find a 1 over here? That is, will I find a 1 which is common in both of these? If I move j to the next location, I will only find values which is greater than 6. And I will never find 1. But if I move i to the next location, and in the future, I might find a common value. You can see here there is 6 and here we can have a match. So I can find a common element. If I move i, that is, if I move the pointer of the array which has the least value among these three. So you can see 1, 6 and 3. The 1 is the smallest number. Only if I move i to the next location, there is a chance of me getting a common value because this is a sorted array and it is sorted in ascending order. So what I am going to do is, I am going to check if a1 of i is smaller than a2 and also it is smaller than a3 it means if i if this value is the smallest i am going to do i plus plus so same thing we are going to do if the value present at j is the smallest among these three i am going to increase j if the value present at index number k is the smallest among these three i am going to increment k so step number two will be i am going to check if a2 that is this if the value present at array 2 is the smallest among all three if the value present at j is the smallest 
then I'm going to increment j. If the value present at a3, that is the third array, is the smallest, I'm going to increment k. So if we keep on doing this, if I retrace this, so you see 1, 6 and 3, which is the smallest one? 1 is the smallest one. So I'm going to increase j, sorry i, and I'm going to move it over here. Now I'll check the value present at i, j and k. Now the value present at k is the smallest one. So I'm going to move k over here. Now we'll check for i, j and k. This is the smallest one. So j will move over here. Now we'll check for i, j, k. This is the smallest one. So i will move to the next location. Again we check i is the smallest one. We move over here. Now we check j is the smallest one among these three. So I'll move j over here. Now we check for i, j and k. K is the smallest one. K moves over here. Now you can see i, j and k. All three are same. So this condition is satisfied. So I'm going to print 20. Okay. Now again this will keep on going right. This will be inside a loop. A loop which will be used to traverse all these three arrays. So next step. Okay, when we are printing, the next step is increment i, j and k. So after printing 20, this is going here. This is going here. And this is going here. So now again, we will check 40, 80, 30. 30 is the smallest. Move it over here. 40, 80, 70. 40 is the smallest. Move i over here. 80, 80, 70. 70 is the smallest. Move k over here. So now we have 80, 80, 80. So we are going to print 80 because it is common in all three. And then I'm saying i plus plus, j plus plus, k plus plus. Now if I try to do i plus plus, it is going array out of bounds. And this will be the condition to stop our while loop. So now let's write the program. I will declare i for the first array, j for the second array and k for the third array. Now I will use a while loop and what will be the condition for the while loop to stop? If i moves out of bounds or if somewhere k moves out, out of bounds or if j moves out of bounds that is beyond the array we are going to stop it so if i is less than a1 dot length and j is less than a2 dot length and a3 k is less than a3 dot length then only this while loop should run Otherwise, it should terminate. Okay. So now we'll put our all four conditions. Condition number one. If value present at a1 of i is equal to a2 of j and the same value a1 equal to a3 of k if all three are equal i'm going to print and then increment i j and k so case number one is done case number two if The value present in a1 is lesser than value present in a2 and also it is the smaller one as compared to the third array then i'll increase 
i this will be else then i have another else if the value present in second array is less than the value present in first array and the second array then i'll increase j else if a3 is the least one then i'll increase k so that's it this will give us the common element in all three sorted array if you learn something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you